here you can see Jeff is busy putting the servos in the wing. This is the one for the aileron, and this is the one for the flap, which it may also become an aileron, but most likely for us testing, we're going to use it as a flap. So that's that one. And over here, this is the other wing. He has the cutouts made for it, and he hasn't actually put the servos in yet, and he's still working on that. Okay, so Jeff's got this uh, servo working on the rudder here. So, as you can see, I'll hit it there, there you go. So, of course, the rudders only deflect outward on the on the canard, or at least on this on the Raptor. So, we've got them set. Jeff's got them set so he can go 90 degrees right now. So, that'll be fun. Stopping power. <laughs> anyway, that's another little update for you. Jeff's uh, been working on hooking up the ailerons and flaps to the servo motors. So he's got the control here. And you see here he's working the, working the flap. So that's flat down position. And there you can see the servo. And then there's the aileron as well. In the side view here. And the little cover plate here that goes on here. I think that's the right way. Just sits there. Well, I think I did it the wrong way. No, this way. Yep, that just sits in there. So let's slap it. Okay, so here's the canard. It's upside down right now, or at least one of them, the other one next to it. And so Jeff's been putting in these hinges for it here. He's made them out of carbon fiber. So you can see now that works. He's, they're not hooked up to the elevator yet, but he's getting there. So there's three of those, and obviously on the full-scale one, we won't have them the same as that. But for the model, we need to. And then over here, Jeff's charging up the batteries. There's the other one over there. So we're getting close to having this model ready to fly. So this is officially the first platform for the first plug for the Raptor. And this is going to be um, two pieces, it's going to hold two pieces for the top uh, outside skins of the doors above the windows. So it's, uh, this is 40 inches by uh, 30 inches, uh, no 44 by 30 inches and I just cut the steel for this, 2x2 two two steel, welded that together quickly and put the plywood on there and just screwed it on with some uh, self-tapping fasteners. So the next step will be uh, putting some foam on that and we're going to cut that in a little while. So yesterday I finished off doing the anchor points for these um, feet for the CNC machine. So they're all leveled now. The whole machine is fully leveled and the spindle is plumb. And I've tested it out and been used this little thing here for Use, uh, doing an alignment, making sure everything's working nicely. So it's all set up now, ready to go. And uh, Jeff and I are setting up this first block here to actually take a slice off here. I'm going to take eight inches off this in the morning, and then that's going to go over on the stand that I just showed you. Oh, sorry, on the base that I just showed you. And then we'll be milling the first piece. So things are moving along. I um, have another update for you in another day or so. It won't be long and we'll have that model flying too. So I hope you're enjoying these. Thanks.